So let's just go through each of these letters and show you how they're pronounced. We'll, we'll obviously have to add a vowel point to it because you can't pronounce a letter without a vowel. So we use the a uh, sound. As an example, the ba, I'll pronounce it as ba. Okay. Um, it could have been bu or bi, but just for convenience, we'll use ba. Okay. So let's first of all go through the alif. The alif is most of the time accompanied with another letter that wasn't even mentioned in those 28. That letter is hamza. And actually, scholars differ as to whether it is a letter, um, some included as a separate letter to Alif, some say it is part of Alif. So that's why there's, there's a difference of opinion. Are there 28 letters or 29 letters? Let's just think of it as a twin brother to Alif. So the Hamza will always be with Alif when it comes in the beginning of a word. So just remember that. In the beginning of the word, Hamza will be there. And Hamza is actually what gives it the a uh sound. Because an alif on its own can only come as a long vowel that comes either in the middle or the end of a word. This will all be made more clearer later on, inshallah. But for now, let's just think of alif as a just a uh sound. This is probably the easiest way of looking at it um, at this stage. So, a, um, that sound is similar to apple. Um, the word apple, the word uh, Arab. So it's very simple. It's just a, a sound. Okay. Next, we get to ba, which is similar to the b sound in English. So that's like Bob, the name Bob. Bat. So that's that's quite simple. That's a B sound. Next letter is ta, and that is similar to the T sound, like as in turtle or the name Tom. Next we get to tha. So tha is very similar in English. We have the TH sound. Like we have, for example, the word throw throw or thought that's a that's a similar sound to that next letter is jim j jim for example we have the word jar or the name george that's a j sound now the next letter is actually found not in the english language it's actually quite difficult for non-arabs ha so, it comes from the throat, around the throat area, the top of the throat. It's like there's something stuck in your throat, in the top of your throat. Um, so actually, it does require practice and use of this muscle around this area. So, one needs to differentiate it from the ha, which is just the normal H. Like we say, hot. That's that's the ha, not the ha. It's 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 a bit different, okay? So that ha requires practice. Now, next is also not found in English. It's the ha. It's also you have something stuck in here. It's sort of like, uh, forgive me for saying this, but something stuck in there, and your that sound. We make that sound sometimes. That's actually a letter in Arabic. So it actually, there's some intensity in that letter. You, it's usually written as a KH. Okay. That also requires practice. Okay. The next one is Dal. So that's just the D sound. Like, for example, the word door. That's quite straightforward. Then we have val, the, val. In English, it's similar to the th. Like we have, we say, for example, that or there. You have the ra, ra. 
So it's a r r r r. It's the r sound. So for example, ring, rabbit, and so on. Okay. Next we have letter z. That's just similar to the z sound in English. Like for example, the word zoo or zero. Then we have sin, sin. So that's just the s sound. Then we have the letter sheen, which is like the s h sound in English. So as an example of this, we have the word shine or shun. Okay. Then we have another letter. It's not found in English. And that's the sod, sod. Just a difference between the seen and the sod. One needs to know the difference between the two. Let's look at two words in Arabic and just show you the difference between the seen and the sod. Now, when we talk about the Quran, for example, and we talk about the chapters in the Quran, if we talk about one chapter, it's called a surah, surah, which means chapter. So that's with the seen. But if we replace that with a sod, we'd get sura, sura. So notice the difference here. See, s, 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 s. So even the way, if you see my mouth, it's different. S, s. So you need to be able to differentiate between those two sounds. Okay, now we get to a very unique letter. And scholars say about this is that this is something unique to the Arabic language. This is what differentiates the Arabic language from other languages. And this letter. This letter is not found anywhere else. And that's bad. So b b b b b b b. So it's touching the top of the mouth or sometimes the side, depending on um, where you put your tongue. But it's different from de. See, de, 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 b, b, b. This requires a lot of practice. Let's go through two different words, and one with the dad, the de, and the bad, with the b. Okay. For example, we have the verb dalle. Dalle means he, he showed him the way dalle. Dallahu. For example, he showed him the way. That's dalla, dalla, as opposed to balla, balla. So balla means that he was astray. Okay. Then we have ta, ta, as opposed to ta, ta. That's not found in English either. So that's a uh, much deeper. It's Th, th, as opposed to ta, ta. Then we have va, va. That's also a deep one. So va, as opposed to the, va, the. That's also not found in English. The va, and you probably guessed it. The next one is not found in English either. Aim, aim. I, I, I. So here, it's in the throat area. I, I. That's uh, not a. Uh, that's wrong. If you say a, uh, that's not a. And uh, it's it's difficult. If you're not if you're not an Arab, you might pronounce it as a. Uh. That requires practice. Next letter is rain. R, 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 r. So once again, it's in the throat area. Okay. Then the fa, which is just the F sound. It's like frog, funny. And then we have the qaf. So qaf. It's got, it's got the q, q. We, we have the word Quran, for example. And we know, we know the Western, when people, when Western people speak about in the Quran, they say Quran because they find it hard to say, uh, to pronounce the Q. That also re will require practice. Q. As opposed to K. K. Q. 
it's more in the throat area. And now the, now the good news is the next ones until the end are quite easy. So we've gone through all the hard ones. Alhamdulillah. So let's go through the rest of them. They should be quick. We have the calf, which is just the K sound. For example, the word kite. Then we have the lamb, which is just the L sound. For example, little. So both of those L's will be equivalent to the sound that the lamb makes. The mean, that's the M sound. For example, mother. Then we have the noon, which is quite straightforward as well. That's the N sound. Like example, November. And then we have the ha. So the ha comes from the 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 uh, the diaphragm. Ha. <sighs> so his, her, that's the the ha. As opposed to the ha. Remember we spoke about this. This requires practice. Ha requires practice. Ha. That's very easy to pronounce for, every, for anybody. Then we have the wow, w, w, which is the W sound. Like, for example, well. And the final letter, the ya yeah sound. Like, as in, for example, yellow. Yeah, yellow. So I've gone through how to pronounce each of those letters. If you have any other questions, you can ask me. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will be answering questions that you might have, inshallah. And the aim is to get everybody to a level where they can understand Arabic, inshallah. What we're going to show you is the letters being pronounced with the three vowels, different vowels in the Arabic language. In Arabic, we say the harakat. Harakat means the, the vowel points. And they are fatha, kasra, dhamma. And they are pronounced as a, i, u. So we'll go through each letter and how they're pronounced with those three different vowels. A, i, u, ba, bi, bu, ta, ti, tu, tha, fi, thu, ja, ji, ju, ha, he, hu, kha, khi, khu, da, di, du, za, vi, du, ra, ri, ru, za, zi, zu, sa, si, su, sha, shi, shu, sa, si, su, Da, di, du, ta, ti, tu, va, vi, du, a, i, u, ga, ri, ru, fa, fi, fu, ta, ti, ku, ka, ki, ku, la, li, Lu Ma Mi Mu Na Ni Nu Ha Hi Hu Wa Wi Wu Ya Yi Yu So please like and subscribe and until next time. قال محمد هو ابن مالك أحمد ربنا خير مالك مفليا على النبي المصطفى وآله المستكملين الشرفا وأستعين الله في أنفيه